Welcome to the Discovery Center in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. We're here to celebrate the 20th birthday of a unique hands-on experience. I'm here with Alan Howell, CEO of Corporate Flight Management and Aviation Services, based in Smyrna, Tennessee. Alan, tell us about your simulator. Uh, Bill, 20 years ago, my partners and I decided to launch a uh, community outreach program. And, as, and the first thing we thought about was a children's simulator. My brother and I grew up uh, at an airport and grew up in aviation, and we remember the inspiration of being around airplanes as children and wanted to bring something back like that to inspire kids about flight. So who built the simulator? Well, we, we uh, built the simulator with mechanics that worked for us at the airport, uh, aircraft mechanics, guys who had also had experience building model aircraft. Um, and Sean Saunders with Tangent Industries was a big part of that initial design and he also built the motion base and the air stairs that pull up to the simulator. When did Discovery enter the picture? As we were looking for a place to put the simulator, we met Billy Little, who was, has been the director of the Discovery Center for 25 years. Uh, at that time, uh, we met her and talked to her and she agreed to open up a gallery of flight in the original Children's Discovery House, which is over on Maple Street. Has it been a good partnership? It's been a great partnership. About 20 years and 400,000 kids, I think, at least. So Sounds like a success to me. Yeah. I'm here with Billy Little, the CEO and founder of the Discovery Center in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Billy, tell me, what were your thoughts when Corporate Flight first came to you with the idea on the simulator? We were pretty excited when I started seeing the graphics of it, saw what it would do, uh, and saw how it would excite and energize the children. We were thrilled because we were kind of doing everything on a shoestring, and this was really our first um, exhibit that was fabricated very professionally. Well, 20 years later, does the simulator still stimulate interest? Very much so. You can see this line of kids is pretty typical. and. Uh, they get in there, they're imagining themselves flying. I love seeing so many girls who may never think of themselves as being in the pilot seat. That's really great. So it, it continues to be a big hit. Well, beyond this exhibit, has Corporate Flight been involved with Discovery Center over the years? Very much so. Alan Howell was on our board. He came on our board, um, oh goodness, probably 18, 20 some years ago. And then we asked him to be the chairman. And he was just an amazing leader. He's a young guy then, as, as were we all, but um, his instincts were always very good. He helped us to operate more as a business. Well, it sounds like the partnership between Discovery Center and Corporate Flight has been one that's been amazing over the years and continues to provide great interest for Discovery Center here in Murfreesboro. It's still going strong. Alan is still involved with us. We're still involved with the flight simulator, and we've added this whole aviation area. So, yeah, it's an ongoing process.